Assalamu alaikum this is me Zishan Iftakhar as in previous video we have gone through the all the types of noun similarly we go through the uh, types of pronoun and adjective and their uses so let's begin what is pronoun pronoun is a word used instead of noun or we use it to replace the noun it is generally used to avoid the repetition of noun for example Aisha was absent because she was ill here we use the pronoun she to avoid the repetition of the word Aisha that is noun similarly another example Emma did not play because he was injured here the pronoun he is used to replace the noun that is Ahmed another example Aisha is the sister of Ahmed they go to school together here the pronoun is they and uh, this pronoun is used to avoid the repetition of these two word, uh, two names. So let's move on to the types. The first type is personal pronoun. What is the personal pronoun? As we can illustrate it by name, pronoun that talks about people is known as personal pronoun because they refer to the persons even though uh, pronoun it is also considered as a personal pronoun we divide personal pronouns in further types subjective case objective case and possessive case if pronoun works as a subject in a sentence then we'll call it subjective case if a pronoun works as an object then we call it objective case and similarly for the possessiveness and these all are categorized in three type a person who talks about himself is known as first person and in first for a first person subjective case i and we for singular we use i for plural we use we similarly to whom first person talks is known as a second person here the second person is you in a subjective case and objective case it doesn't change in possession case your or yours about whom first person talks to the second person is known as a third person he she it they they all are come in a third person in objective case for he we use him for she we use her it won't change they will become them and for the possessive case for ownership for he we use his, for she we use her, for it we use its, for they we use their or theirs. Most of our students make a mistake in exams. They put the apostrophe above the S, which is not correct. So let it clear by examples. Our first example, I saw Ahmed yesterday. Here, I is a personal pronoun in a subjective case of first person. Our next example, Umair said to them, this is my pen. Here, them is a pronoun, which is the personal pronoun of the objective case of the third person. This is my pen. Here, my is a personal pronoun of the possession case of first person our next example this is our house here our is a personal pronoun of the first person possessive case our next type of the pronoun is a reflexive pronoun reflexive pronouns words like myself yourself himself herself etc these are all called reflexive because they reflect back to the subject or doer of the action for example i saw myself in the mirror here myself is indicating about the subject so myself is a reflexive pronoun and i is a personal pronoun similarly another example he always think about himself he is a third person 
subjective case of the personal pronoun himself is talking about subject so himself is a reflexive pronoun similarly students who cheat on exams cheat themselves here themselves is indicating about the students which are the nouns our next example we are going to paint the house by ourselves here ourselves is indicating about the subject that is we so ourselves is a reflexive pronoun our next type indefinite pronoun indefinite pronoun words like anybody anyone everything each everybody etc and these are indefinite because these don't refer to the specific person or particular thing for example no one knows the answer to the question here no one is not indicating about the uh, some specific person another you look worried is something wrong so something is not specific so it is a indefinite pronoun everybody will do their task so they are not indicating to do or some specific person our next type interrogative pronouns interrogative pronouns are just question words like what which who whom and whose for example what do you want to eat today here what is a interrogative pronoun this car comes in only two colors which will you prefer here which is a interrogative pronoun our next type of pronoun is demonstrative pronoun demonstrative pronouns words like this that these those these point out a particular person place thing or idea for example this is my book here this word is a demonstrative pronoun similarly another example that is his house here word that is a pronoun demonstrative pronoun and these all are my books here these word is a demonstrative pronoun all right so these were the types of pronoun now we move toward the adjective what is an adjective we have already discussed about them in our previous video if you can recall adjective is a word that describes noun and pronoun for example Ahmed is a boy. Here we are able to understand that whether Ahmed is a boy or not, but we are not able to get more details about what kind of boy Ahmed is. So now let's see this example. Ahmed is a good boy. Here we are describing the quality of Ahmed by telling that he is a good boy. So the word good is an adjective here. So now we'll move towards types of adjective. We will learn six main types of adjective. These are adjective of quality, adjective of quantity, adjective of number, demonstrative adjective, interrogative adjective, and possessive adjective. So now let's look at them one by one. Adjective of quality. These are words that describe the quality of noun or pronoun. Note the word quality here. Let me give you an example to make it more clear. I have a nice pen. Here, what is the quality of pen is? It is nice. So now, can you think more quality of the pen? Someone uh, may say it is a glue pen or someone may say it is an awesome pen. So the nice, 
blue and awesome or all are the adjective of quantity and adjective of quality also refers to describe or descriptive adjective so now look to the next type of that is adjective of quantity these are words that describes the quantity of noun or pronouns here note the word quantity for example i have enough knowledge here enough describes the quantity that knowledge i have adjective of quantity generally answers the questions how much in a sentence some more examples of them are i have little knowledge i don't have much knowledge about this matter so the words enough little much are the uh, defining to the quantity of noun but not in the exact amount now looks at the next type that is adjective of number uh, these words that describes exact number of noun or pronoun not the word exact number for example ali has four apples the word four is the exact number of apples ali has adjective of number generally give the answer of how many in a sentence if there is only one apple then we can say ali has an apple so the words like 8 10 or any such numbers describes this adjective that is adjective of number let's move towards next type demonstrative adjective these words that points out the person thing or animal note the word point out for example this book is mine some other examples are these pens are his those houses belongs to him now if question comes in your mind that we also discussed these words in demonstrative pronoun but there is a difference let me give you an example of demonstrative pronoun this is my book here the word this is a pronoun can you see the difference between these two sentences in the first sentence this become became first or and before the book which is a noun and it is describing noun it is an adjective and in the second one this came before the word is that is a verb so it is a pronoun so now look into the next adjective interrogative adjective they are wh words that are used with the noun to ask the question and wh words are who whose whom which what for example which book is yours here which is used before the book and it is asking a question so it's an interrogative adjective now we will discuss interrogative pronoun and they sound similar to this adjective but there is difference let it clear by this example so uh, this is an example of interrogative pronoun here the word which is used before the word is that is a verb so it is a interrogative pronoun but in this sentence the word which is used before the book that is a noun so it is describing the noun so this word that is which is describing the noun so it is an interrogative adjective 
so now look into the sixth and the final type of adjective that is possessive adjective the words are used to show the ownership is known as a possessive adjective note the word ownership for example Rizwan left his bed at home here the word his is used to show that it is his bed so it is a possessive adjective some more examples of it are my our her his etc now again this sounds similar to the possessive pronoun but there is also a difference let me clear it by an example of possessive pronoun it is a, an example of a possessive pronoun the bed next to the window is his here the word his is used instead of noun therefore it is a pronoun so this brings me to end this lecture thanks for watching